This is No Weather Radio All Hazards, serving the Washington, D.C. area. This station has a frequency of 162.475 MHz and is broadcasting forecasts from the National Weather Service. The current time is 4.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And now here is the 10-day forecast. Today, partly cloudy. Tonight, 40% chance of thunderstorms in the evening. Tomorrow, cloudy with a 10% chance of shower. The following message is transmitted at the request of NASA, at around 4.30 p.m., NASA has discovered a black hole in the solar system, this black hole is small in size, but is close to Uranus and Neptune, a black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, no particles, or even electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it, NASA has a plan to get rid of the black hole once and for all. All residents of the United States should stay vigilant at this time. Stay tuned to news channels for more information on this developing situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of NASA, at around 4... You are listening to WTOP News in Washington, D.C. I am Kyle Cooper. Our current news headline is that a black hole has been discovered by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. A civil emergency message was just issued 30 minutes ago, and is still in effect. I am a news reporter at NASA's headquarters, Michelle Bash. Michelle? Thank you, Kyle. I am now inside NASA's headquarters where people are busy with this situation, I have a NASA expert next to me figuring out how to destroy this black hole. How will you destroy this black hole? Well, I have talked to the United States government that we will destroy this black hole using a shrink rate to shrink this black hole until it will vanish and not destroy our own planet. The U.S. government has agreed with this plan, and I hope this will be successful. If it does not, then all life on Earth will be sucked up. Now, that all I have to say. Okay then, I guess we will have to wait. This is Michael from WTOP. Back over to Kyle. She's right. We will have to wait and see. In other The following message is transmitted at the request of NASA. The black hole has grown in size, and has confirmed to have sucked up Uranus and Neptune. However, it has then moved to the Sun for unknown reasons. However, due to the size of the Sun, the Sun is not being sucked up into the black hole. NASA still has a plan to destroy this black hole. All citizens of the United States should still stay calm at this time. Do not panic, as panicking won't do anything. Stay tuned for more information as it becomes available. I don't know what to tell y'all, but we must destroy this black hole. You're telling me, if we don't destroy this black hole, all life on Earth will end as we know it. We need this Nintendo 64 and and not to whatever so dirt, 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 dirt. Calm down, that black hole is near the sun, but it won't suck up the sun because of its large size. Well we need to destroy the black hole now. We will invent a laser gun that will make the black hole disappear once and for all. That is a great idea. He will make it now. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Okay, in the count of three, we zap the black hole. I see it now. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> No, 
it did not work. The black hole is indestructible. That's it. The world is going to end in 48 hours. I will tell the United States government. Who's calling me? I better check it out. Hello, this is President Trump speaking. Hello, this is Willem Thomas from the NASA John F. Kennedy Center in Florida. I am here to inform you that the plan to destroy the black hole in our solar system has failed. We tried our best to get it destroyed, but it is deemed ineffective. You and us at NASA must issue an emergency action notification to the public now. Oh my god! I will do as you say. This emergency action notification will be sent out to the public in all of the United States. May God help us all. Thank you. Bye bye. This is an emergency action notification requested by the White House. All ES participants should follow activation procedures in the ES operating handbook for a national level emergency. The President of the United States or one of his designated representatives will deliver a message over the emergency alert system. Please stand by. Please stand by. Please stand by. We interrupt our normal programming. This is a global emergency. Important instructions will follow. The following message is transmitted at the request of the United States government and NASA. This is not a test, I repeat, this is not a test, please do not turn off your television or radio, as this pertains to a global crisis, our world is coming to a horrific demise. NASA's plans to destroy the black hole has failed, the shrink ray has, in fact, exploded. This means that NASA's plan to save humanity is 0% certain, there is nothing left to save humanity on time. The black hole is set to come to Earth in the next 48 hours. When the black hole comes to Earth, everything and anything will be sucked in, and thus, ending all life on the planet as we know it, the United States government's advice goes as follows. Gather your friends and family as we prepare for death. Alternatively, you may wish to commit suicide, as black holes cause spaghettification. It is the vertical stretching and horizontal compression of objects into long thin shapes, rather like spaghetti, and a very strong non-homogeneous gravitational field. This is confirmed to be painful. All laws are extinguished, you can steal, do drugs, and more illegal stuff. This is not recommended for children under the ages from 1 to 12. You can go into full panic mode, as there is no any other reason to remain calm. I have selected a verse of the Bible, to play over the air. Psalm 77, 11, I will remember the deeds of the Lord, yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. As this station signs off for the final time, all radio, television, and internet sources will go dark permanently. This is Tom, the voice of the emergency alert system, signing off for the final time, goodbye forever. I will see you in the afterlife.
even type is civil danger for the entire country of Canada. The people at NASA's John F. Kennedy Building in the United States has failed to destroy the black hole that had previously been next to the sun for 10 hours. In the next 38 hours, the black hole will engulf the Earth. There is no possible way to survive this cataclysmic event, as no shelter will protect you. The Canadian government instructs you to do the following instructions. Gather those who care about you, and brace for the end. If you are a religious person, pray to your higher being or beings. You may wish to kill yourself as well. The Canada National Anthem will play after this alert. Oh Canada, my home and native land. We apologize for interrupting your normal programming, but we have important news for you that will be broadcasted over the BBC. Please stand by. This is not a test. The UK Emergency Alert System has been activated to keep providing the latest news and information for the United Kingdom. You are watching BBC One in London, England. If you are not in this area, tuned to a station providing news for that area, do not use the telly unless you have an emergency. A global crisis is currently ongoing, right now, a black hole has been created in the United States and is currently growing and is expected to swallow the earth in the next 24 hours. This is a life-threatening situation and cannot be stopped, if it cannot be stopped, there is no way to survive this event, sheltering will not provide any protection, at this time. The government of the United Kingdom advises you to do the following, gather your friends and family as we wait for our death, you can commit suicide if you want to. We conclude our final broadcast of BBC One and all other UK channels, our national anthem will play for the final time, may God save the Queen, and God bless the United Kingdom. The motto of the country will be said one last time, do et Monday droit, God in my right.